Good morning, guys. Welcome to summer school. Okay, so today is Tuesday, June 29th. So yesterday I didn't vlog because I got here late because of crazy traffic. And then like students were just like showing up and like Mer. So let me show you what I did. Um, no, that is our schedule right there. So we have breakfast, English, there's a break, math break. And then they're gonna do like intervention or one-on-one -on -one meetings with me. And then we have lunch at 12. So I only really teach for like two and a half, three hours, something like that. Their goals for intervention that they gotta do, cause might as well put it all in one spot, right? Um, what else? They did, they did these all about me sheets that I talked about when I came back hybrid because I had extras and none of those kids were really in my homeroom anyway. So why waste a good resource? Um, here, let me show you the room. So the room still has desks spread out. Each kid has a bin. They still have their shield. They're still required to wear masks. And then in the bins, they have a notebook, tissues, pencil sharpener, two pencils, two pens. And I've been giving them headphones over there too if they need those. General board set up and then I have computer list over on the other side that you're not seeing. Um, it's so weird to write a board again and with like an agenda and I'm probably gonna put objectives up there too. So I was just updating my slides. So like I have a homeroom, do now for English, directive agenda for English, just the notes, what we're teaching. Students open up the activity in Google Classroom. They're gonna do it and then I have to write an exit slip. This was yesterday's. The normal kind of stuff that we've been doing, the same slides that I like, the same videos. No need to reinvent the wheel here. I ended up switching up this agenda so like we did our ELA lesson and then we ended up being able to do STAR. So we did that and then they did win. So after class is done, then the kids go and they have like special after lunch and their group is like Howard University because they named each group after like a university or a college or whatever. So my one kid was like, nah, that's a dumb name. We should be the Looty Looters. And I'm just like, oh my God, that sounds terrible. But like, yes, I'm here for it. The kids are honestly so much fun. Like, I have a really good group of boys and a girl who's really quiet, but they're just, they're good kids. They really are. All right, so we did this yesterday. We're gonna do this actually tomorrow. We were gonna do it today, but then we took stars, so we skipped math. So math is planned for tomorrow already. Um, we did this one today. So we're gonna do this guy tomorrow. And it's like idioms, puns, onomatopoeia, and alliteration. And I'm literally just like finding worksheets from the internet and just like making things up. I'm gonna find like a paragraph and they have to like highlight every example of onomatopoeia and then like write a sentence or two with it. And then alliteration. I think I'm gonna have them look up some like tongue twisters kind of thing and go from there. All right, so teaching slides are made for tomorrow, activities are made for tomorrow. The board has the agenda and objectives on it and the date. I'm done for the day. Catch y'all tomorrow. Good morning guys, today is Wednesday, June 30th. Um, I'm gonna try and take you with me as I teach math today. We'll see how that goes. Honestly, I just feel like top of my game with this whole classroom thing. I'm so excited about it. Like I have my agenda and objectives written on the board. Like my schedule's up. I have an anger chart up. Like we're just crushing it. I even did like four one-on-ones today. Like I helped two kids with Lexia. I helped a few with their math program today. I helped a bunch of people during our math whole group. Like. I'm on fire right now, fire.
So for math, I just have this PDF of the lesson. So today we did one through three. Tomorrow they're gonna do these problem examples. No need to reinvent the wheel here. Tomorrow for ELA, I gotta add the assignment. Hold on. Okay, so tomorrow they're gonna do a figurative language short story. So what they're gonna do is, these are like the nine figurative language terms we've been talking about. They're gonna write a short story down here using six of the nine. Their partner's then gonna scan and see if they can find all of the things they put in there. Nothing super complicated, nothing terribly hard for me to make, and I think the kids will have fun with it because they get to do creative writing, which I don't feel like they get to do a lot. So, that's everything that's done for tomorrow. It is 12.30, I am done for the day. See y'all tomorrow. All right guys, so today is Thursday, July 1st. So I talked about yesterday how they're gonna write a short story. We're gonna work on more of that markup, markdown that we've been doing. Um, I also <laughs> have to empty that desk. I'm going from those three and these two drawers to just that. That's all I'm gonna have for storage at my desk because they're updating us to this desk. And like that little cabinet can be on either side or whatever. And like it's a nice desk and it's great, but the storage is limited, very limited. So that's my big task for today. Um, and I got a lesson plan for next week. Although next week is only three days because we have off on Monday in observance of July 4th. So shouldn't be too bad today. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to talk about was what I'm doing for my one-on-one -on -one sessions in the afternoon. So from 11 to 12, I'm supposed to be doing win and one-on-one -on -one sessions. So my expertise is not math and English, but we have our kids do Lexia for reading and Dreambox for math. Lexia is helpful because it gives you these like skill builder lessons and it'll tell you like when a kid's struggling, hey, this is the lesson they should be working on and you just print it off and give it to them. So that's what I've been doing. And then for Dreambox, let me turn you around. So Dreambox will give you this student overview. This is not one of my students. This is just an image I found online. But the white boxes are things that they are missing, that they need. So I'll just go through and I'll start with like the lowest grade white box that they're missing and I'll assign that to them as an assignment. And they get those remedial skills that they need, but the program is working with them to do it. I'm just kind of telling the program what to give them to work on. So that's been working really well. Um, not a lot of effort on my part, but still getting the kids what they need based on where they are. Okay, so I cleaned out the big desk. I put most of it in a cabinet and just some of it in that other cabinet there. I lesson planned for next week already. I posted the assignments for Tuesday. I did the board already for Tuesday. So our agenda for next week, objective for each one, date, and then a reminder to do a basketball book it because the kids asked for it. So I'm totally done heading into this holiday weekend and it's only 12.10, so look at me go. I'm probably gonna have a snack and just like tidy some things up and then I'm gonna head out of here and have a great holiday weekend. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this summer school vlog. Please like the video down below and subscribe if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.